Hello, and welcome to our project. Um, let's just get started. Please, when you are doing this project, write, change the, the name, because the first thing that I see when, when you send me this project is gonna be the name of the project. And if it has something like Spectacular Rotus Megillo or whatever that is, I'm not gonna read it. So make sure it has your name, Bob, or whatever your name is, and then nameplate, which that's what we're making today, a nameplate. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag or click on a box. And in the bottom right corner, I'm gonna click, and that's gonna be 100. So I did that with the keyboard, but you could also, I guess, change it another way. And the thickness, we're gonna keep it at 20, so that's how wide it is, that's how long it is. And the depth, I believe, is gonna be five. Let me see what the thickness looks like. That's pushing it. Let's change that to three. No, I'll be generous, four. Okay, we're gonna make that four. Okay, what do you guys think? Is that enough for what you need? I'm gonna say yes. All right, so let's get a little bit of a close-up. I'm gonna click on this one right here where it says fit view. All right, so there you go. So the next step is to add text. Now, we're just gonna look over here at all of our options. Click text. And just like your name, it's probably not gonna fit. So you're not going to change this box or this uh, bottom part. Let's call that the template or the plate. You're not going to change the plate. You're going to change the text. So you can do whatever you want. Just drag it around or let's change it back to the way it was. Or you can hit shift, the button shift, and then do this and it just changes it in the same ratios so that it always stays the same ratio no matter what you do. Personally, don't care what you choose, but Obviously, you don't want to print something with the word text in it, so we're going to click right here and change it to your name. Now, if your name is Bob, you would put Bob. Yay! However, if your name is Mr. Amparo, which I hope none of you have that name because it's mine and you cannot have it, you do that. All right, let's change the color just so we can see this a little better. There it is. Oh, and that is a color for my opposing college, so I will be happy with this color right here. Okay, go UCLA. All right, now I'm gonna click away so that thing will go away. If you noticed, your this might happen with your name too. Don't like it, don't want it sticking out of here. So I'm gonna hit shift and adjust. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna click away so I can see this. I'm gonna select both of them just by clicking and dragging. See how I did that? Click and drag, I selected both of them. You can also do control A, that selects everything or all. And as you can see, the O is sticking out here. Now, some students have asked me, Mr. Empire, how do you make it spin like this? I, I can right click on my mouse and just drag it around like that. Or, you know, obviously you can just do this. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. Okay, so, okay. To make this go away, you can just click on that right there. I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna click on my name. Just my name. Oh, didn't do that. Let me try it again. Click on, oh, let me just do this right here. There, finally, click on my name, Mr. Amparo. It fits. Again, some of you might have a, a letter that, that might stick out over here. You're just gonna have to change the size. Now I want you to notice something. I'm gonna zoom in here. Click the little plus sign. It's barely sticking out. And that's actually not a bad situation. But if I wanted to make it um, stick out a little bit more, which is fine, here's the thing. These two right here can make it go up. This one will actually increase the size, whereas this one will just make it go up. If you do it enough, it'll go up, up, and out. Whereas this one will keep it going forever. I do not suggest you move this one because some students in the past have done something like this and then their letters are sticking out at the bottom and then it won't print. Not a good situation. So whenever you mess with the letters up and down, make sure that nothing's sticking out. You see, you can see the letters here, but that doesn't mean it's gonna go through. 
If you see just a solid blue color as opposed to this mixture, that means the solid blue is actually gonna print first and your nameplate will fail. It will fail and I will not be sad for you because you did not follow this part of the tutorial. All right, so next we have the cylinder that is transparent. Obviously, if we just did that, it wouldn't work because part of our name would be taken out. So let me zoom in over here by clicking on that. First of all, first thing I'm gonna to do to the cylinder is remove those straight lines. How do I do that? Right there. I'm gonna move it over. There you go, perfect. Now, again, we gotta shift this. I'm gonna move it over a little bit. And then, by the way, if it moves too much and you wanna move it just slightly, you need to change the snap grid. It's right here at the bottom right. Change it to 1.1 millimeter and the movement is a lot smoother. See how it's a lot smoother? Just to give you an extreme example, if I changed it to five, it would go like this. Not good. So I like 0.1, let me zoom or scroll there. That's much better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the shift button and then corner right here and just, just drag it. All right, that is not bad. Let's see how it looks here. I want it to be pretty centered between the end of this and the end of the plate. And I do want it to be centered here. Now, the reason there's going to be a hole here is because I want this to be something I could put on a keychain or something. So that's why if you make it too small, the, the ring will not be able to go through this template because it's just too small. So this one here is 13 by 13. You can change the size too. I don't recommend going anything smaller than 10. So there you go. Now to make an actual hole here, I've got to select the cylinder, hit the shift button and the name plate. Now those two have been selected. The name I didn't, I didn't do anything with, which is fine. I'm gonna group them by clicking this button right here, control G, there. Now what I've noticed here, let me see if I can zoom in. I did not, so click on the top. Let me zoom in again. Let's go over here, here's what I noticed. I want you to see this right here. And I'm gonna zoom in. The M is closer to the top than the bottom of the M is to the bottom. So what I'm saying is it's not centered. I'm gonna move it with the arrow key so that it's centered. And why is that important? I don't know actually. It just looks better, I guess. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do, because I'm done essentially, but the last thing I'm gonna do, make sure none of my name is sticking out on any side. I'm gonna make sure there is a difference between the heights and I'm gonna check that there's nothing sticking out here at the bottom. Okay, now, how do you get this to print? Well, there's different ways. Sometimes you'll have to send it to someone to get it printed. So this is how you would send it to someone. Send to, scroll down at the bottom, it says invite people. Generate a new link, click on that, copy the link. All right, link copied. So now you would go to your email and paste, control V or paste this link, and you would send it to whomever would print it to you or print it for you. Or you could also do this. If you're gonna print it yourself, export, let me click again. Export files for 3D printing, laser copy link to, no, I wanna 3D print this. And, it's not letting me, why is that weird? Download, sure, let's download. Okay, I'm not sure why that's going here. Uh, usually you want to export and then it, set, it tells you a, uh, different file formats and you wanna click on STL, it's usually on the right hand side. And then it asks you where do you wanna save this? Very important that you save it where you're going to remember because you're gonna need that that file and the file name to open in the slicer program. The slicer program is what tells the 3D printer how to print this. Okay, good luck.